Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today, we got this tire that doesn't hold air. We're going to try to fix it. Put it on the other side of the golf cart on the back uh, because this got a bad tire on that side and it's a little bit taller size than what's on here. They're mismatch the wheels. So, um, these are just hubcaps. So, I'm going to try to fix this and get the same size tires on the back of this thing. And uh, also, while I got, got them off, we're going to check the drum brakes on this. They're making quite a bit of noise, so an air gun will blow them out and see if that helps anything. Adjust them if they need to be. Um, but let's just see what happens. Okay, let's put some air in this thing. See if we can find the leak. Hopefully I can just put a plug in it. Well, this tire's bad. That tire's bad too. See how it hooves up there? Yep, that's a bad tire too. Hmm. Well, all right, let's go ahead and pull the wheels off of this thing. And we'll see. And that sucks. I gotta buy tires for everything. The truck's gonna need back tires on it. The Toyota, once they get the head done on it. The vet needs all four tires. That needs something done with it. It's got the left front tire keeps going flat. I might be able to fix it. My tractor needs all four tires. Now this is gonna need at least two. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's get this wheel off of here and let's see what's going on with the brakes. Your eyes. I don't know how many of you guys seen that earlier, but I still have my slippers on. I put my slippers on instead of my shoes. Got many me here. coming off. Huh. Gotta get some help. Hang on. That wasn't that tight. Oh, I don't have my hair on. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, spider. Ah, that's cute, isn't it? This looks a little loose here. So, we're going to have to take this off. Tighten that up. Spacers for them different wheels. Yeah, they don't want to turn real easy. Brakes off, so I may have to get a hammer and tap on that. Alright. Yeah, seems a little tight. Okay. I have to take a whole hub loose. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to put this nut in a little bit so I can get this cotter pennant. Well, that didn't take much. Huh. I'm not sure about these golf carts, but I know on cars, <laughs> they should have a castle nut on them. I, I'm sure I'm not going to have a castle nut that size. But let's go ahead and check these brakes out. Should use my impact on this. I thought that this drum would come off here. I see a couple bolt holes here where you screw bolts in. It's supposed to pull that that hub off of there, or that drum. I'm pulling the hub now, the, the brake drum. That's the thing about working on old stuff, you know, there's been a lot of different hands up inside this thing and you don't know what somebody's done. And when you do find out what they've done, what's the reasoning why, you know, why did they do it? We don't know. Now, I feel the brakes trying to hold it. Yeah, you hear him? Pop them back in. So I noticed it didn't roll real easy like when you try to push it or something. So I think what I'm going to do. Oh, it's hot out here already. I'm gonna take my hat off. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to keep messing with this to get it to pop off of there. Yeah, that drum's loose on that. There it is. Yeah, there's some damage there. They're worn. 
they're worn uh, pretty good. I'm gonna get a light. First, let's go ahead and blow this out. All right, let me go get a light so we can see better. Take this off first. Check that out. Uh, I don't have any brake clean. But yeah, I see damage there. It's going to need brake shoes on it. I'm going to loosen them brake, these brake shoes up a little bit. And then, uh, and then we'll put it back together and see if that helps. I'll do the same thing to the other side. Let me get a light though. Well, that light's not doing much. Time for some help. There we go. That's cool. Bolts on just like a. It's set up just like a. Uh, like a car. Yeah, there's some damage on the side over here. I'll show. Let me get you off the stand. I'll show you the damage on it. Right there. Yeah, cute. That thing is cute. I mean. Look at my hand. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to take this adjuster in a little bit. And, uh... Relieve some pressure on them. I think the other side's bad, too. Of course, I wouldn't do just one side anyway, but... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how this... How that works. I think I just yeah, pull that out like that. There's that little star wheel there, and I'll spin it in a little bit. And then uh, I'll get you back on the stand. And then we'll check the fitness of the drum and see if it if that'll help it any. I know that wheel was kind of hard to turn. Whoops. So we're looking right here. Let's uh Man, mosquitoes out. Early afternoon mosquitoes are out. See that should go down. When you put the brakes on and it moves backwards, it pushes this down and screws that star wheel out a little bit every time you back up. And that's how that's how they adjust. Alright. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a pair of pliers that are better than these and I'm just going to screw that out a little bit but you see what I'm going to do I'm just going to move that away and then screw that wheel it looks like it turns this way to move them out so I'm going to try to turn it down and see what happens okay I got them adjusted back down now I got to put the spring back on I 
ended up, I took that spring off and I was able just to turn that with my hand. And it's starting to rain right now, so. There we go. They're a little loose, but that's okay because they'll adjust. They'll adjust back out as you back up. Yeah, see, that's a lot better. I couldn't do that before. Bugs. Thought that was a termite. Okay. Now we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna get the big gun for this. I'm gonna really tighten her down. I'm trying to find that. There it is. I can see it in there. All right, I'm going to pop that out of there too. That little, uh, that cotter pin that they had in there, I'm going to pop that out of there. Okay, so, just going to try to tap that out of there. Yeah, it's moving. I may have to get a smaller punch. All right, let me get a smaller punch. Okay, there we go. Come on. There it goes. There's half of it, the other half is right here. Okay, so now got the big boy out for this thing. Fifteen sixteenths. Alright. Back out a little bit. Yeah, you would think. See that hole right there? Cotter pin goes in there, but you would think there would be a uh, there would be a castle nut on here. But that started backing out for some reason. All right, I'm going to hit it again a couple more times. See if I got a cotter pin that size. Okay, so I got my cotter pins here it's a pretty hefty one it's a little long but that's okay I'll cut it off like I said these will adjust out once we start backing up and stuff in fact I think I'm just going to This one I will cut off. Right in the forehead. I was gonna try to get this one to go down behind there and help hold that tight. I think I'm gonna try to do that. Let's see. Yeah, it should go. All right, I'm gonna do that and then I'll cut the rest of it off. And then we'll put the tire on. All right, I got that, that behind here and in front of that, so that should help it stay tight. 
it's not a big deal to pop off the uh, hubcap every so often and, and check it out make sure make sure it's tight I think these wheels are regular golf cart wheels but they're not regular golf cart tires I have a set in back I don't know if they're any good they're just regular golf cart tires I like these tires but you know I don't have a match that one up there that we just pumped up is flat already but I couldn't use it anyway it's got the same problem as the other one I might go around back I think I think that old lawnmower I got around back has four lug wheels might go around there yank one off see if it'll fit on here yeah I think I'm gonna do that okay let's see pretty big tire <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> well <laughs> now these had air in them it's flat now but it had air in them when I took that thing around back a couple years ago <laughs> man I've used so many parts off that old bobcat mower I gave $50 for that thing I probably I probably got $300 worth of parts off of it. Now I can't find my, there it is. All right. Pretty cool. They're a little tall, but I think they're gonna be all right. They're yellow, but that's all right. Maybe the hubcaps will fit, I don't know. rain I gotta hurry let's see if it'll hold some air They're a little dry crack, but I don't care. I gotta get new tires anyway. I'm just trying to get us by. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's take a little ride. I figured before I get started on this other side, I would just run this thing around back and get the other tire and throw these two back on I got a jack and Oops, sorry got you on the fog but I'm holding you so you don't fall over it's still raining a little bit so I gotta hurry up and get this done buddy Ryan stopped by and chatted for a few minutes he says he's got a, a gas one I asked him three times you want to sell it he didn't really answer me so all right this is what what we're taking it off of that old thing there I'm gonna throw that other tire on there just so it's not sitting in the ground and then uh, we'll go to the other side 
I brought my big jack and then we'll get this one off I believe they hold air so or they did might not now heck I'm gonna speed you up Okay guys, this is that tire I took off. I don't know if you can see that, but see how much higher it is on this side, this side here, than this side. Now they're a bigger wheel and a different tire. Those are actually golf cart tires there, and I know this because they say golf pro right on the side of them. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, at least I got two matching ones on the front, two matching ones on the back. Yeah, this is I like these tires though. They're the same size wheel that's on that. They're Carlisle tires. And these are, well, they're dry rotted too, but, um, and they're skinnier than what's on the front. I would rather have the wider tires on the back, but anyway, I'll have to get two of those. I'll get two of those to put on these wheels because I got two of these wheels and yeah so that's what I'm going to do they're a bigger wheel I can go with a little bit higher tire I might do that and then uh, but they're dry cracked those are dry cracked a little bit but it's all I got you know what I mean so when stuff sits even in even inside I've we've had them at work before sit there for a couple months and go go to sell them to a customer and they're dry cracked once we put air in them and we're talking you know climate control building but yeah that's that's why i took that one off uh, hopefully these still hold air they used to but we'll just have to see so uh i think the next thing on this one on the golf cart will be putting the nose clip back on it i just been covering that up We'll put the nose clip on it will, will be the next thing and that's probably all i'm going to film for a while unless i run into something weird but yeah so there it is um yeah it's yeah these are actually golf cart tires that are on it i got looking at them and i was like what the hell they're golf pros but that's okay so there it is guys that's enough for today it's been raining uh the brakes on this side is really good so they were on the other side was way out of adjustment but this was the side that was making all the noise so but i did adjust it back a little bit i'm going to back it up a few times to let it adjust itself but i think they'll be all right now that still doesn't every once in a while you push the gas down it doesn't want to go or it'll stop so i'm thinking the controller's probably bad and I damn sure don't want to put one of those in there. But we'll have to see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. Gone for now. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys, and take care. You want to come to you? Come on. Want to go for a ride? Go for a ride. All right. we'll go for a ride.
go get the vet and bring it over here. We gotta move the tractor first, okay? Definitely had to get the vet back over here. For sure. You get the idea. See you soon.